Hi guys, I showed you I picked this chainsaw up in the charity shop today. It cost me 99 pence. Uh, and it makes noises. Press the button and the motor starts. Instead of having to pull that. And then if you squeeze the trigger as well, then we get the sound of it cutting. I was just wondering if there's actually a motor in there as well that's supposed to make the chain turn. It would be fun if there was, and I was hoping there was when I picked it up in the shop. But I suspect it doesn't. But we'll have a look inside anyway, we'll do a teardown. comes from Wilco, which is one of the uh, supermarkets sort of thing. They don't do food, really. So just about everything other than food. Household goods. And toys. So, um, yeah, we'll take it apart and have a look inside. Suppose we better have a look in here first. See what batteries it takes. Double A. Just have a look at my quick tester. Oh, they're in excellent condition. Batteries are probably worth more than the chainsaw cost me. Just take them out so I can check there's no screws underneath the battery container. Nope, so that's okay. We'll leave them out for now. Right, uh, definitely got one, two, three, four, five, six screws there. Whether we need to take the rest of it apart, we'll find out. I'm not quite sure how this handle works. Okay, good start. Those two are the same size. Just remember, there was something else I wanted to do a tear down on. But we'll look at that later. That one doesn't want to pop out. And that one doesn't want to pop out. There we go. So, they're all the same size. Imagine we've got to take this off somehow. Can't see any way of it coming apart without taking it off. That's smaller. And that didn't instantly release.
So how does this work then? Remember the screws are coming in from the front side. Well, actually thinking about it, there's only one way they can go in. So. Okay, that doesn't suddenly pop out. Okay, so that wasn't the clue. And see there's a that is held in with a screw. Let's loosen that, but we're still not getting this off. I think it's a peg that goes into there. Ah, got it. Right. Got it. Right to get them off those little pegs going in there and now we can lift it apart so we've got some grass in there on off switch Push button there is operating the switch there, which I expect that's got a black blob on the back for the sound effects. Speaker looks like it's down there. Spring there. What does that spring do? Puts tension on here. There's a loose wire. Okay, so we do need to take it apart. Release that spring. So 
it's just going to lift off. Or is it going to be awkward? Looks like I might have to undo those two spring uh, screws. And probably that one. these two screws over here yes we got an electric motor brilliant that's what we wanted oh, good all right we'll have a look at that in a second that's the back side of the bit that goes on there and holds that in place. So we won't lose that. In here we have the speaker. We've got the wires that go down to the on off switch. So we've got red wire from the positive of the battery goes to one side of the switch, red from the other side comes up here, blue from the other side also comes up here. And I seem to remember somebody telling us that that's something to make sure it's off off rather than just disconnected. But that white wire looks like that was actually the Oh no, no, that white wire is going to go up to the motor. Yeah, that's where that should go. On there. Can we see that? Or have I got it in shade? Right, that's where that's come loose. The black wire is the negative going up to here. So, let's zoom in a bit. see what we're looking at okay so electric motor to drive this and this has got some sort of spring tension on it to um, tension the chainsaw or the blade blades I expect if I undo that we can separate that out Great long screw in there. Okay, so that's our drive. We'll have a look at that in a minute. I'll take those screws out and we'll have a little look. That screw went through there onto that shaft there. So, smaller screwdriver. I oh, just realised I'm so zoomed in, you may not have seen what I was talking about there. Let's do that again. Right. So I've taken that out of there. That held onto that shaft. It's because I'm not looking through the camera. The camera's off over my shoulder. So I apologise for that if I didn't show you what I was talking about. Have a look at the gearbox. Check that we're on camera over here a bit. Hopefully, we're not going to have bits flying out everywhere. Not going to have anything flying out, don't want to come apart. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, we've got quite a gear chain there. 
motor, pinion gear, so small gear, big gear, big gear's got a small gear on the side of it, to a big gear, and I've no doubt that's got a smaller gear on the back of it, which drives the bigger gear. Has that got any sort of clutch mechanism on it? Yeah. So it's got a, well, I'd call it a ratchet effect, so it can turn one way and digs in the other. So if you turn it that way, it'll actually, if I could hold it tightly enough, that would actually slip over. Yeah, there we go. Whereas if you go the other way, it digs in and grips. So we'll put that back in place. Uh, we won't do it the wrong way up. Keep it that way up. So that's in there. That one's in there. Okay. So lots of turns on the little gear. And we get down to quite a slow turn on the big gear. If we're careful, we'll get this back together again. Did we or didn't we? Because that's the one that's likely to slip out of position. pliers so I can turn that and make sure it's lining up. Okay. So we need to get the soldering iron out and re-solder that white wire and we should be in business. Obviously that white wire has come out with that bit of shrink tube tubing. And there. I guess we could pop those Back in. Okay, hold that. I think it needs button and that. Yeah. And probably turning on. Great fun. Soldering on next then.
You're not going to see this, are you? It's going to be the wrong angle. Right, push the button. Plug my soldering iron before I forget it. Right, so we've looked in the gearbox. We've resoldered the broken bit of wire. We'll just have a look on the back of this little circuit board because I expect there's a little black blob on there with the sound effects. So I'll turn it over. There we are. Black blob, blob, bit of sound effects, and that there. Is the push button, or at least that's the push button with a little contact in the middle of it. Okay, so we can put that back together. There's a little bit of white stuff on there, whether it's got wet at some time, but it seems to be working. Again, okay. I did say we'd have a little look at this, see how this works. Okay, that's our guard. Right, so we've got a couple of runners, and that's the drive gear, and then that's a freewheeling gear at that end. And something fell on the floor. That bit. And that little plastic bit's actually got a hexagonal shape to it, so it fits on there, I think. No, I'm wrong. That's the hexagonal bit that fits on there. So that must just be... Oh, that's the bit that fits in that slot. Does it? Looks like it should. No? How about... Hmm, looks like it should. Maybe it doesn't actually go right through. 
No, it definitely doesn't go through that slot. Hmm, interesting. Right, can we get it back together? That's always the question. What does that go through there? That, ah, yeah, it sits on the outside. Okay. That doesn't move, those don't move, that's the only bit that does move. better. Okay, that fits over there. Yes. Are they all the same size? No. Right, now we've got to try and get the next bit together. Spring. That's that over there. And over there. That's got to sit on there, but also let's try it without the spring first. In fact, take that off there. first so we know we've got it in place. Yep. So which way up that spring was. Right, so two screws in there and that screw through there. I'm loving this. You know what I've just done though? I said I wouldn't forget to put that piece in and I've just forgotten to put that piece in. I'll go there. So I've got to take it out again.
Which way round does it go? Uh, gotta be that way, I think. back on. Right, that was the bit I was talking about. That's the same bit there. Yep. Okay, that screws in, screws here. There. Concerned, I'm not sure those are the right screws. Oh, yeah, seems okay. So, push button. there for the battery holder get them on just so they don't slide inside or anything afterwards right that's okay so the short screws were round there, the longer screws are these ones.
And then these all the way around here. That's in the way now. Well, I'm really pleased. Not only does it now work, But it only cost me 99 pence. I'm really pleased with that. Ah, Lanard. I love Lanard. 2003 Lanard toys. Gosh. That's much older than I thought it would be. Yeah, I do like Lanard toys. I've got uh, a lot of air engine racing cars that are Lanard toys and all sorts of other things. Let's move the light. Is that too bright? It's too bright now, isn't it? Yeah. Lanard toys, 2003. Sold by Wilco. with that. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like to subscribe over there.